Hey guys, good morning. So it's almost 8 o'clock. I'm home now. I'm about to lay down and go to bed. I had kind of a rough night. Um, just in general, we were pretty busy and I just had a rough night and then I had kind of a rough morning. Um, I got some news that makes me really sad and it's very disheartening to hear that someone would take the time, which I do know who it is, to complain about me essentially for my videos and jeopardize my job, which wasn't actually jeopardized. Um, nothing happened. I didn't get in trouble at all. I was just made aware that somebody thought it was okay to call and complain about my videos, I guess, actually. Um, I guess this person's not exactly thrilled that I've said I hate night shift. <laughs> like, who doesn't hate night shift? Or whatever the case may be. Um, I've never defamed the company that I work for. I've never even disclosed it. I don't... That's not me. I've never broken any HIPAA laws. So why? I'm not exactly sure how you thought I was going to get in trouble. But um, it's just very sad that... I don't know, people would take the time to try and ruin something good in my life. Like, I just don't get it. And it makes me really sad. So I had kind of a rough morning, just for that simple fact. Like, I already had a rough night. And then to have to hear that in the morning was kind of like, okay, like, I guess, whatever. So, yeah, I'm kind of just going to, I'm ready for bed. Like, I'm ready to just wash the day off and go to bed and forget about people that would want to be directly outright mean to me. Hey guys, good morning. It's about 5.30. We're on our way to pick up Maddie um, from daycare, preschool, whatever. And um, I'm feeling better than this morning. I'm not in such a sour, sad mood. Um, you know, I kind of come to the realization that it is what it is. People are going to be people. And can't really do too much about it so anyway um I didn't sleep that great I woke up like at 12 30 and I was lying on the desk it's really weird because when I used to work 5 p.m to 5 a.m I would come home at 5 you know I'd get home and be in bed by like 6 a.m I would sleep till 3 and now that I don't go like this morning I didn't go to bed till almost 8 in the morning I'm up at 12.30. Like, who can function on four and a half hours of sleep? And I feel like it's harder to function on four and a half hours of sleep when you have to, like, deal with your kids and stuff. <clears throat> That's why I'm coming with the desk because I had actually fallen asleep on the couch and he was like, wake up, wake up. And I knew if I didn't get up off the couch, I would continue to fall asleep because I'm just so tired. It was a really long night and I just didn't have enough sleep in general. And so I'm going to try really hard to stay awake until it's bedtime. Like at least 9 or 10 o'clock bedtime. So um, we'll see how that goes. After we get Maddie, we're going to go to the store and pick up some chili. I think we're going to have like a nacho with some healthy chili um, type of thing. And I think we're just going to pick up a few groceries and then go get Emmy. We'll, we'll probably pick up Emmy after right because it's since she's by the house and then go home and cook dinner check out homework and stuff and then it'll be bedtime bath night and then bedtime because then mom is already ready for bed Hold on. maddie <laughs> hi you grocery shopping yeah. oh heck it's already started it's already started she's hanging off the cart <laughs> Hey, you're gonna fall. <laughs> I'm, <not> I'm jumping. <laughs> you're jumping. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me your hand, please. Hello, hand. Let's go. I can jump a lot. You can. Thank you. I can jump a lot. Mm -hmm. I can jump a lot. I can jump a lot. Put 
Cheetos back, please. We're not gonna buy those. We don't get Cheetos for snack. You can have fruit. Put it down. Say bye, Cheetos. <laughs> See you later. Yep, bye, fries, too. See ya. The manager called and. Uh, Dinner time. Mm -hmm. Nachos, chili, and cheese. Well, this is so good that it's so yummy. Yes. That cook they never eat. Every time I show them on camera, they they're like, "Oh my gosh, this is so good!" Like I, we never feed them. <laughs> she came up here and fell asleep. Night night, Mama. I fell asleep. You wanna go sing with us? Yeah. Huh? Yeah? Okay, come on. Emmy was too tired to come sing you a single night. What was that? <laughs> hey guys, so I am vlogging. Or no, well, yeah, duh, I'm vlogging. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm <coughs> editing yesterday's vlog to get that uploaded it's almost 10 o'clock and I am exhausted like I am just so tired I really do think on the days that I work I need to sleep longer like not wake up at 12 30 wake up at like at least two or three and I can make it through the night I've been on a, uh, on and off asleep oh gosh I've been asleep on and off on the couch since like seven and I told him the dust. I was like, what happened? You were supposed to wake me up. You were supposed to make sure I don't fall asleep on the couch. He's like, I tried. Yeah, right. I was like, you did not try. He's like, you're a hard person to wake up. I'm like, come on. You've woken me up so many times. <laughs> I'm not that hard of a person. And I'm just so tired. And even now, like it's nearly 10. If I turn off the light, I probably could go back to sleep. Um... The thing that I'm nervous about is I just don't know how far into the night I will stay asleep till and then that will ruin my day for tomorrow. Not that I have like huge plans or anything, but it'll ruin um, just my sleep tomorrow because if I'm awake in the middle of the night sometime, then tomorrow I'll be exhausted wanting to take a nap and I think tomorrow I'm going to hang out with yeah, and maybe Corey and stuff. I don't know if they're going to hang out with us or not. And then Friday, I was going to go grocery shopping. Or not grocery shopping. Just shopping in general for our charity relay bingo that's going to be this Sunday. I was going to go tomorrow with my grandma. But instead, we're going to go Friday and make a day of it. So that'll be fun. So I'm sorry today's vlog is boring per usual. I'm not really sure what you guys see in my life. <laughs> like at all. I was watching Steph's Snapchat and I really enjoy watching her Snapchat but I think it's because she's my friend and I don't know like I like seeing what she does when she's not around me and stuff <laughs> which I, I I don't know maybe that's how you guys feel about me but <laughs> okay like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my camera battery. <laughs> I feel like they die so easily nowadays. I really need to invest in a new camera. I was just telling Andres that actually. Because this one, like when I watch the footage back, I upload in HD. So when I watch it on YouTube, it doesn't look as bad. But when I watch it on iMovie, I use the older version of iMovie. And I feel like the quality is just not as good. So I really need to get a new camera. Plus, this one is like falling apart. It's been dropped so many times. Um, it's just time. But anyway, like I was saying... I was watching Steph's Snapchat and lately I've been telling her she should vlog because I think her life would be interesting. I mean, she's a stay-at-home mom, so she's constantly like doing stuff around the house and running errands and, you know, going out with friends and stuff and doing stuff for her daughter's school. And <clears throat> I think it would be great for her to vlog because for other stay-at-home moms out there that, you know, want they want to see how her life runs and stuff like that. I don't consider myself a stay-at-home mom because my girls are in school and I hate housework and I hate, I'm not the type of wife that has like dinner on the table ready every single night. I cook a lot, but I don't have it ready every night. Um, I just, I would not be a really good stay-at-home mom. I just wouldn't. But for her, I told her she should 
vlog because you know that would be interesting for other people it's like pretty much for snapchats but for snapchat it's easy because it's on your phone you don't have to upload and edit and all that stuff it's just on your phone and so she she was saying in her snapchats she just doesn't like what would she vlog buying toilet paper and stuff like that and yeah that's exactly what you vlog because look at me all i do is freaking talk to the camera all day like a weirdo and vlog the few things that i do throughout my week and um, you guys seem to like it, which I'll never understand, and I guess that's why she doesn't, but anyway, I think she should. I think it would be fun. I think I'm off to bed. I'm tired. Andres went to go meet somebody to trade his phone. He's crazy. He's traded his phone so many times. He's so cute, though. He goes back from uh, um, iPhone to some sort of Android. I think right now he has a Galaxy something or other he had a note at one point and then would go back to the iPhone and then would go back to the Android and then now he's going back to iPhone <laughs> just oh my gosh that man like so indecisive I think that's all men in general probably but he wins he takes the cake yeah I'm headed to bed I'm tired I'm gonna turn on the TV and probably fall asleep to the TV like an old man would fall asleep in his lounge chair watching TV at night I hope you guys enjoyed today's footage and we'll see you tomorrow bye